sweep right up here by revolve. Um, what you I have here is I have a sketch that has a circle on it, and I have another sketch that has this sort of crazy curvy spline on it. All right, and you can see that uh, from the top down, I can just see the spline. All right, so I'm looking at the side view of the circle, but if I look at like the uh, front view here, now I can see the actual profile of the circle and the spline is looks flat to me. So they're on different planes. All right. This one's on it. The spline's on a different plane than the circle. Uh, the way sweep works, when I click the profile, um, normally these would be red arrows, but since I only have one profile and one path, um, they've been selected for me. So the profile is the circle. That's what I want to create a, a sweep of. And the path is the line that I have on here. And basically what it's going to do, it's going to create an extrusion, a circular shaped extrusion that follows that curvy line. Um, and then I'm just going to hit OK. I got one little mistake in there. Probably got too big of a circle. and make that circle a little smaller. Let's try it again. Sweep. There we go. So I got a little preview of what it's going to look like. Uh, you can do things like you can have it taper, which means it's going to get um, wider or narrower as it sweeps out. Um, you can have it twist, which means it's going to rotate. So you can kind of play around with it, a couple different things um, as far as the sweeps go. But now when I hit OK, you can sort of see that it takes on. It almost looks like a like a wired sort of a real curvy tube extrusion. Um, so that's what sweep does. It allows you to create these really free flowing, free form extrusions. All right. So use this to help you on the sweep command exercise and make sure you save your work.